the silver anniversary celebration of the Philippine Nurses Association of Nevada. My name is Doris Bauer and I am a proud member of this organization. It is hard to believe that the PNANV has reached this milestone, 25 years of existence as a nursing organization here in Nevada. The creation of a professional nursing organization is not easy but it is a more even difficult task to maintain its visibility and longevity. The PNANV was organized in 1992 by four visionaries, Belen Gabato, Minda Arce, Joy Gideng, and Pure Hidrosolo. The ANA came to town for two, two or three days. And then, so I decided to go there. I was curious. And then I met some of the officers of the PNAA, Philippine Nurses Association of America. So then they talked to me, and I looked at their poster boards, storyboards, and exhibits, and I saw they were there. It seems like a good idea. And then they said that they had different chapters all over. They had New York chapter, they had California chapter, and all of the chapters. They, were, they had like 20 some chapters at that time. So then I called my only friends in town because I was new, was Pure and Minda and Joy, and I called them and I said, hey, there's a BNAA here. Why don't we hold a party for them? They're going to be in town for two days and said, I'll host it at my house. So we invited them. They had a great time. Hello. Good evening. My name is Minda Archie and I'm a retired nurse after 26 years at UMC. Um, I became involved with the PNA of Nevada in 1992 because of Belen Gabato. The organization thrived and blossomed through the years. It supported nurses here in Nevada with problems, issues, and clarification of nursing practice. The PNANV made itself visible in the community by participating in health fairs and numerous community activities. It provided nursing educational opportunities for its members. The traditional fundraiser for the organization was the annual gala, which was always held around Valentine's Day. These annual events were attended by PNANV members, as well as by different organizations in the Las Vegas community. These galas always showed the dancing prowess and showmanship talents of the attendees. Even the organization's board of directors often delighted the attendees with dance renditions. Continuing education credits were always offered free of charge to the PNA and V members. Topics of education were relevant to the times and to nursing practice, featuring local and national speakers. Past presidents of the organizations include Belen Gabato, Remy Caballero, Joy Gideng, Christy Sampal, Helen Imson, and Amelia Abello. In 2007, I got appointed to the Board of Nursing. I was the first Filipino nurse to be appointed there by the governor. So I decided to give up my affiliation with Filipino Nurses, so she had PNA and did my work on the Board of Nursing. Um, being a member of this PNA of Nevada um, was uh, one thing that um, I encouraged because uh, in the beginning, you know, it was good because it helped the nurses to uh, have some, some 
place to belong, especially when they had trouble in their um, workplace, um, uh, when they had challenges in their uh, legal uh, issues. Um, the PNA of Nevada was a help uh, because we were also uh, uh, a part of the entire uh, the nation national um, nurses of America, and so um, this is something that um, I encourage to all the nurses, our Filipino colleagues, uh, to be part of because it's not just for um, legal but also social you know we gathered every year um, we became involved uh, with uh, civic organizations and we did um, well uh, health care and wellness checkups and uh, we were also part of the medical associations they were our partners and it was fun because we have our uh, annual gathering like now uh, usually on Valentine's Day because um, it's a connection with the hearts, you know. The PNANB had and continues to have many, many supporters. This loving support came in many forms, such as volunteering for events, helping to organize events, and being part of program entertainment. It also came in the form of financial contributions or by providing education to the organization's members and the Las Vegas community. It would also be impossible to name each and every supporter that we have. Some of the outstanding contributors of PNANV are Dr. Dale Carrison, who's the Chief of Staff of the University Medical Center, Dr. Chris Miranda, Dr. Noel Fajardo, Dr. Tess Melicoton, and the Philippine Medical Association of Nevada, Dr. Rachakonda Prabhu, Marian Pearson of Wells Fargo, Ms. Aurora Wong, the Southern Nevada Health District and the Nevada State Board of Nursing. The Philippine Nursing Association of Nevada has also brought some of the talented members to hold positions in state and national organizations. Their work has at times brought them to participate in international activities. Belen Gabato and Mary Betita have served in the Nevada State Board of Nursing. Dr. Elizabeth Files is currently serving on the board of the American Nurses Association. She is the chairman of the National Honorary Awards honoring the best nurses in the USA. She's a huge advocate for smoking cessation and has brought her work abroad, especially to the Philippines, to organize programs for tobacco users. Dr. Jay Tan is the current president of the Nevada State Board of Nursing. He is the first male Filipino-American to hold this position. He is also involved with NCLEX. Looking into the future, the PNANV will continue to thrive as an organization. It will continue its mission of vitality, viability, and visibility. Here's what some of the current board of directors are saying about their vision for the future of the organization. My enthusiasm doubles up when I see my fellow nurses join to learn things together so that we can grow professionally and be experts in our field. And when we collaborate with the other community organizations out there, it makes it more exciting. In the coming years, I wanna see PNAV to flourish in membership and for us to be visible out there in the community doing the thing we love most and that is improving the health and well-being of the people through service. The Philippine Nurses Association of Nevada has inspired me to embark on a new professional journey 
to aim for professional growth and to advocate for my fellow Filipino nurses. Through continuing education, we seek to empower our Filipino nurses to become leaders in their respective work areas, as well as to become change agents and make a difference in the healthcare delivery here in Nevada. First and foremost, I'd like to congratulate the Philippine Nurses Association of Nevada for their silver anniversary. And it's been quite an adventure being with PNA. I've been a member since 1995, and I've seen everything happen uh, for the better, of course. Um, as the uh, current advisory board, my vision for Philippine Nurses Association is to get the young nurses to be involved and participate in the uh, future and forthcoming activities. And number two, I'd like to be more collaborative and partner with other organizations in the community to be able to achieve our vision and mission. I was the president since 2007 and 2012. Congratulations to the new elected officers headed by Ms. Doris Bauer. It's time for you to take on this organization and to the rest, to the past presidents and to the past board, congratulations, job well done. We believe that our meetings as well as conventions should be run in a very orderly fashion. It is my role as parliamentarian to see to it that the Robert's rule of order are followed. Additionally, we also believe that our organization provides support to the health and welfare of our community. And also, we reinforce the professionalism of our nurses. Hi, my name is Mary Bitira. I'm a nurse practitioner and been active with PNANV since 2009. I'm currently the PRO of this organization. I hope to continue encouraging all the nurses to engage in their professional organizations and associations, noting how these organizations such as PNANV contribute to the accountability and voice of the profession to society. I was in search of a professional organization where um, nurses would feel that they belong. Uh, this would involve professional networking in the community and the public, provision of education, and I found it through the Philippine Nurses Association when it was presented to me by some of the other members. Uh, my husband and I have been members on and off for a few years until such time about 10 years ago when we were invited to join the meeting. There I found my calling and I felt that between me and my husband, we could make a big difference. I was elected as the president, so I'm the immediate past president of the organization. And I'd like to say that it has been a very challenging and yet professionally lucrative experience. My vision is to be able to pass the baton to the incoming um, president and its board of directors to be able to fulfill the goal and the mission of the Philippine Nurses Association. And the younger generation would take over and that is where we need to start now or we have started um, in the past. Hi, I'm the currently corresponding and recording secretary of the PNA Nevada. And I'm proud to say that I've been an officer of the PNA since it started. Uh, with the several presidents like Belen Gabato, uh, Joy Giding, Remy Caballero, Christy Sampal, Mel Abelio, and now with Doris, I'm again a part of BOD. It's been my wish and hope that the PNA Nevada will be the voice of the Filipino nurses in America. Congratulations, Doris, being the new president for the PNA after 25 years. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank it's you. really, truly an honor uh, to, you know, be elected as president. Uh, my question to you is, what is your vision for the organization moving forward? Well, as any 
professional organization, it should advocate for nurses, and that would be the Filipino nurses. There are about 10% of Filipino nurses here in the state of Nevada that the PNA should advocate for. And advocacy means we will have a representation from different factors, different fields of nursing, and I think that would be my vision to have a uniting force where Filipino nurses will stand for under the banner of PNAN. Thank you so much for giving me that opportunity. I have to roll back into years when I joined PNANV, and that was in the late 90s. I was a young nurse coming from the Philippines, and then I joined PNANV. I always believe a professional organization is your breeding ground to grow, and that PNANV did it to me. So it was in 2011 when the governor appointed me to the Nevada State Board of Nursing, and then that opened the door for me to be elected as the first Filipino president and first Asian, in fact, uh, to assume the presidency, and this is now my third and final year. I'm also very happy that I get my involvement with CGFNS in Philadelphia. So those are the three major um, organizations that being Filipino, I put pride along with the rest of the Filipino nurses who actually did nursing and is also currently doing nursing with pride. Thank you so much, Thank Jay. You. That is very, very inspiring. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doris. I am proud to be a member of this organization. Come join us, and congratulations to the PNANV in achieving this milestone. Here's to another 25 years. Never my love. Never my love. You say you fear I